Billingers are considered the descendants from the people of Billa, and in around 900 AD, one tribe made their main settlement in the UK, and it was named Billinge. The location we investigate tonight sits in the heart of the village and has become an epicenter for paranormal activity. We enter this world knowing only life, yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavor to gather evidence to prove there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, Whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. The building behind me dates back to around 1752 and is said to be haunted by a cavalier, amongst other things. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo and this is the Stork Inn in Wigan. During the Civil War, this location was used as a parliamentarian jail and royalist prisoners were incarcerated within its walls. Apart from being an inn, the building was also used as a toll tower as it was on the main highway between Liverpool and Lancaster. But it's also had a more sinister use, that of a jail. And it's down in this very cellar where the cavalier who is believed to haunt this building met his tragic end at the hands of Oliver Cromwell's soldiers after many days of torture. In this part of the cellar, there's a particularly nasty chap known as Peter who doesn't like visitors in his area and many staff members refuse to enter this part of the building for fear of his wrath. Another ghostly apparition that's been witnessed down here is that of an old landlord who was known as George. This location also houses hotel rooms, and it's inside these very rooms where most of the activity has been reported by the residents that visit here. The Stork Inn was an incredibly hard place for me to read and pinpoint spirits in. Um, and the reason why is because of the emotional overwhelm that's been condensed in this location. I do believe I managed to pick up on three spirits but I couldn't get any specific information from them. There may be more. Um, the first thing I noticed here in this location was an oppressive energy in one of the uh, rooms. It weighs down on your shoulders and it clings to your back. Whether that's one or many spirits, I'm not able to distinguish that factor. Uh, some of the other things that I felt was a sharp pain in my lower back. It felt like somebody had taken a knife and just stabbed me in the back with it. The other thing that I experienced was I felt like something was being wrapped around my neck and I was choking. Um, I could hear a woman screaming and I could hear a voice that was saying a traveled path. A traveled path. He made me think it was like a secret because the way he says it, he whispers it, a traveled path. Um, so I'm thinking it's specific to one spirit and it's his, it's his path. Um, I tried to pull out my tarot to get more information about maybe who these spirits were in their, why they were living or how they are now. and. 
Uh, the first spirit I got is suffering from heartbreak, grief, and suffering, and he's stuck in the past. He does not want to move on from his past, um, but he understands that he's dead. If you're going to get a spirit to communicate, it would probably be him. The other spirit is um, a hermit, basically. They want to be left alone. They don't want to have anything to do with the other spirits that are in this location. They don't want to have anything to do with people. They just want to be by themselves. Um, they're a very down-to-earth kind of person, and they want to be isolated. That is what they're choosing to do. The last one is um, a very opinionated, very hasty, and he's out for the profit. He's out for the reward. He uh, is attracted to this location because that's what he wants. That's what he's looking for. He's looking for something, and he's looking for the reward and the profit that will come from it. Other than that, that is all I caught from the Stork Inn. Now here's something very interesting. This is room four. Now inside of this room, there's been a monk witness kneeling and praying in the direction of the church. And this has been witnessed several times over multiple years by guests who have actually stayed inside there. Will it happen tonight? Inside room 8, people have reported shadow figures out of the corner of their eyes. And staff have also had reports of customers who have had their gums bleeding. That's a scary experience for anybody. Now, is that paranormal or something else? The Stork Inn. Yes. It's a lovely place, really big and deceiving. So you look at it and you come inside and you think, wow, it looks small. Yeah. And then you venture into these rooms that are around this building. Yeah. And you know what? It gives you a feeling of nostalgia, mm. taking you back, I mean, the old grandfather clock. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's laid out like the olden days. Yeah. It's, it's a piece of history and uh, very deceptive in regard to the size of it because outside you don't realise what a TARDIS it is with all the rooms and it being a hotel. But downstairs you've got the atmosphere of a very oldie-worldy type of pub. But even more so is the fact that the cellar, that was the original level. Yeah. The building's been built up uh, and one of the, the reports here that somebody has been seen at waist height um, through the floor and that's because the original floor level was down in the cellar. So yeah, they, of course they're going to see that. Absolutely. Just a cavalier here. Yes. But yeah. Oliver Cromwell's soldiers killed him. A lovely chap, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. And there's loads of different reports. Children, there's stuff that's happened with the staircase that's in this building. Yeah. There's all sorts of different things happening. Like we said on the VTs, yeah. on the intros, it's one of the busiest places that we've been for paranormal activity reports. Yeah. In fact, it's one of the most I've ever seen. Yeah, there's a lot going on here and more or less all the rooms have got something going on. Uh, what interests me is the staircase. It's not original to the building. True. And it's a great example of how something can be attached. There's a little girl that's supposed to have come with that staircase. And I'm really curious if we can find out yeah. why she's yeah. come with that staircase. Maybe, Paul, she died. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm thinking because I mean, it, you know, looking at the height of it, it's not huge, but we've been to, to so many places and we've heard so many reports about how people have used those sort of things for hanging. Yeah, so she know. could have, she could have hung. If she could have hung herself. Oh, she, she could, could have, have been just fell, or fell. Yeah, exactly. She could have fell. There's so many possibilities. Be sinister. No, no. I mean, it's so many people, you know, straight away it's paranormal and it's dark and it's sinister, and it's not the case. Accidents happen. Well, talking about sinister stuff, Paul. Yes. Downstairs. Mm -hmm in the cellar yes it feels sinister yeah there's a completely different feel down there two halves to the cellar yeah um plus a, a secret tunnel a secret little tunnel which i'm gonna have a venture into but it is a different feel uh, and one of the reports is that there is somebody down there 
um, possibly an old jailer called Peter. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. he's he's quite a nasty one apparently. So well, maybe we'll encounter him tonight. So maybe you will. Maybe we will. Paul. You. We will, will investigate <laughs> and find out. Maybe just maybe we'll come into contact. Paul will <laughs> with some of the spirits that are here. Mm. So hey, you know what, Paul? Maybe it's about time. We uh, jump off. Yes. Start our investigation. I think we should. Come on, let's I'm do it. Right behind you. Ghost dimension. So much activity is reported at this location. I start my investigation of the hotel rooms, while Paul ventures deep into the hotel's basement in search of the paranormal. Hi there. So. Hi. So I've come into room eight inside the Storkin to see if I can get any more paranormal activity. I've got the thermal Im imaging camera here, which you can see. I'm just going to do a scan around the room now and see if I can see any, you know, hot spots, any cold spots that there may be, um, anything unusual. Um, I'll also point out what I've got in a second on the bed. On the bed, I've got. Oh, let me show you this. This is a, um, a REM pod, as you can see there. Now, if anything goes near that, it will set off. It'll detect electromagnetic energy, static energy, and all that. And the same there again, one on the bed. There's reports of paranormal happenings in this room. It feels like a bit of a family room where families stay. Um, I've also got in here a fantastically beautiful, massive shower. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, in there. So I'm hoping that something may happen. Oh, that, we didn't, I don't know if we picked that up, oh, that was a REM. That was a REM. That was a REM on the bed. Whoa, thank you. Thank you, you here? Are you here with me now? Can you sit next to the REM pod on the bed? Let me see your imprint of you. I step back. Is it me? No? Thank you. Can you go towards the other rampart over here? So, Peter, are you here? Can you let me know if you can see the, the device here? Just go towards that. Just go and close to that metal stick and touch it. If you can do that, it may light up. It won't harm you, but it will let me know that you're here. So we can find down here. I'm trying not to get my head to touch because I don't know what's above me. <coughs> and uh, I'm not freaked out by much, but spiders is my number one. So I am going to try an EVP session. So I brought my uh, recorder down and we're going to give it a go. Is there anybody down here with me? Is there somebody by the name of Peter? My name's Paul. I feel a rhyme coming up. Are you still in this area? Ooh! The rem, the rem's going off, and so did... Whoa! The rem went off, and it reset itself. Look, and it's flicking, beeping. No way, there was a bang in here. Let me just go in here first and we'll sort the rem out in a sec. I can't see any heat signature in here. Anything that would have caused any of that. Hold on a minute. Is that me? Let me check. Right. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I saw something on the thermal, but the door banged. Okay, let me set this rem pod off again. There we go. No, the REM pods really died. Look. A few minutes into the investigation of this room, the REM pods died on me. It is believed that spirits can absorb the energy of batteries as they start the manifestation phase. And I believe that is what I just witnessed with my REM pod. I'm gonna move the uh, other REM pod from over there on the table, uh, oops, and put it 
on the on the bed because the activity seemed to be coming from there. So you can see where I was sat on the bed. There's some handprints. But I don't know what that is. Right here on the thermal imaging camera, we can see some, uh, that's me there, where my hands were. But I don't know what that was. Maybe that was paranormal. Or maybe it was me, I don't know. I'll check the footage back on that. That's a weird sort of imprint on the bed. Let me check this thermal around this room and see if you see any more. Let me just spin the camera so I can see. Okay, is anyone here? Can you knock on something? Through? Thru I think the door was scratching then. I don't, the door. That was this door. I'm 100% sure it was this door. Look. That was weird. There's no one else in here. It's empty. Maybe that was this on the door. Let me check it. Is it a heat signature? You can't even pick that up. It's really good what you've done so far and I'm glad I've heard your voice, thank you. Can you try and do something else for me? Thought I just heard a weird noise then. Sounded like something growling. That's another report that's happened down here. Somebody's heard growling. Paul had just heard a dark growl, and when we enhance the sound, the voice appears to say, go. It's really good what you've done so far, and I'm glad I've heard your voice. Thank you. Whoever this spirit was wanted Paul to leave the basement. Could it be warning Paul of an impending danger? If so, what were we about to face at the Stork Inn? Look at that old window. Right now we're in the cellars, this is below ground. But this was the original floor level. So that window once upon a time would have looked out and this is the original part of the building which was a farmhouse. So that window takes back about 500 years. Can you imagine what's, uh, what's been witnessed through that window, both on the inside and the outside of it. Come on, please give me a sign. I'm not here to judge you. Okay, is there anyone here? Can you show yourself to me? Touch th something in this room. Whoa, that was outside. That was outside again. What the hell was that? Now that is the key to the door. And if I'm not mistaken, that looks warm. That looks warm. Now it'd be interesting to see if anything leaves like a handprint on the door, anything like that, but definitely, sorry, I'm, that handle is warm. I don't know, I'm hoping we can lose that. Maybe a lot will happen to us. Duck the head, why do you knock yourself out? Okay, if you're here with me and it's you making these noises and these bangs on the door or anything like that do something more for me show yourself to me come on don't be afraid of me I'm only here 
to communicate with you. Are you here? Anyone? Anyone here? I feel like some sort of energy is building right now. If you don't want me in your area, if this is you Peter, if you don't want me in your area, all you've got to do is let me know. Give me a sign. Do something to frighten me off out of here. Just don't appear as a bloody great big spider or something like that. Trying to move fast in this area would not be advisable. See all that there? I think that's water. Just turn here. Look at the water there. Couldn't really advance any further on. But look at that. That probably went further on at one point and there is a tunnel that was supposed to link here to the church across the way so there's a good chance it was there it's all been bricked up now look at that cobweb god I'm glad I didn't go any further jeez I think I need a, a medal just for going as far as I have today I don't mind getting into tight confines but spiders. So you heard, heard it here first folks. Anybody that doesn't know me, you now know one of my phobias. Bloody spiders. Okay come and join me. If that's you who has been tampering with the door and pointing two cameras at you. One of them is a thermal imaging camera and the other one is an infrared camera. It fires out infrared beams so you can see in the dark and potentially capture your spirit in, ca in physical form. So please, if you are there, show yourself to me. Show yourself on the camera. Okay, I'm going to ask politely. In five, four, three, two, one. Are you able to show yourself? No? It's weird. Even though I know that this door, I just heard this door move then. This door moved. This <coughs> oh, excuse me, I don't know what's going on. <coughs> don't know what's going on. Really don't know what's going on. Somebody's just like took over, trying to take over my voice box. I think. Oh, just give me a sec. The door was going again, and somebody tried to take over my voice box. No. No handprints on the door except for the one that I left. Something had overcome all of my physical energy and I had collapsed unconscious. I believe that this is connected to the spirit that warned Paul to go earlier. Power had also sensed the feeling of choking. Perhaps I had just been strangled by unseen hands. The other thing that I experienced was I felt like something was being wrapped around my neck and I was choking. Whatever it was, it was clear its intentions to communicate were not friendly. Oh, Jesus, man. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Something. 
I came over me then, I just felt all lightheaded, like, I mean, I just know what I do, I don't feel like that. I feel like Summit is trying to goad me into doing something. And as I'm saying that, the door's still going. And I hope, you know, I recorded all of this on the camera, and maybe we got some of it, but oh, I think I need to go and have a drink. Not a spiritual drink, but like a, a drink of water. This isn't right. There's a weird energy in here. A weird energy. <sighs> After I had rested, I decided to head into the basement away from the negative energy, and Paul head straight back upstairs into the hotel rooms to see if he could identify who the spirit haunting here finally was. Okay, so I'm now in the um, cellar. I've got a little torch around my neck because it's that pitch black. I want to be physically able to see what I'm doing. Over here, I've got, I can hear noises like footsteps then above me. Um, I've got a REM pod. Again, I'll switch the REM pod on. Anything comes near the REM pod, it will make a noise. I've also got the Periscope. Now, if anything comes near the Periscope, it'll detect ions in the air. Um, it'll go different colours. So we've got green for positive, red for negative ions. I'm just going to place that over here, actually, just to check and see. This is part of the tunnels, which are very dirty. I don't feel like I should go down there because I feel it's a bit weird, it's a bit awkward to be honest, it's a very claustrophobic space here, so God knows, you know, I just heard something like move around me, I hope it was ooh, something just touched my bum then as well, um, I feel like I've forgotten what I was going to say and that's exactly what this place does to you, it takes away your thoughts your mind just starts to muggle it's weird ok, and what I'm going to do is I don't like being in places like this. I'm just going to point this camera down here to see if there's anything down there first of all. A bit of light down there maybe. Yeah. So, I am in room number six and uh, this is the room where a little girl has been seen peering out of that window to people downstairs in the beer garden. And the bedclothes off this bed here have been seen to be raised above somebody that was in the bed uh, which freaked him out he actually thought that it was uh, his friend who was sleeping in this bed but apparently he wasn't in bed he was still downstairs so the chap that was lying in this bed was just a little bit freaked out and apparently quite a burly chap from uh, Glasgow so uh, he was a little bit freaked out, understandably so. I'm sure you'll agree. So we're going to see if anything happens for me. Is there anybody here with me now? Any little girls? Anybody that uh, likes to make the bed? Can you try and lift those covers for me? I should say as well, we've got a K2 and uh, a REM on the bed just to see if anything happens. I'm going to actually put that K2 a little bit closer to the window just to see if uh, anything happens. Is there anybody here with me? Let's see if... Uh, I'm trying to see, there we go. Is there anybody here with me? Can you let me know please? Can you go towards one of the devices? There's a green light and a red light. If there's anybody here can you try and affect one of those devices for me please? Oh look at that! Thank you. Thank you so much. Just going to try and keep that. Thank you. Are you a little girl? Are you a little girl at all? If you are, can you go towards that again if that was you that just made that? Oh, look at that. Wow. Thank you so much. Can you tell me what your name is, please? Could you tell me? If I go through some letters of the alphabet, if you know what your name begins with, what letter, could you try and let me know, please? And just thank you so much. That's really good. Bloody hell, this is, this is really good. It's been a while since we've had 
something interact to this level with one of the, the pieces of equipment. Okay, my name's Sean. I'm a paranormal investigator. I'm here to communicate with you. Please come forward and communicate with me. Make a noise. Tap on something. Make a big noise. I heard that. And that, and that sounds like that tunnel. Can you... I believe you can make, like, growling noises and stuff like that. Peter, are you here? That was down there. There shouldn't be anything moving down here. Is anybody in here with me? Is anybody around? Scratching, I can hear again scratching. And I know we're in like a pub, but let me show you over here in this room. There's all of the beer things, you know, for making beer or drinking beer. Those barrels. Look, I always hate going into these rooms. These rooms freak me the hell out because, whoa, because of that. Every time I go into a cellar, it's got beer kegs. Stuff starts to go wrong. I hate it. Can you tap on one of these again if that was you? I heard that. Whoa. Thank you. Which one is it? Push one of them over. Push it real good. Push it fast. Are you here with me? Paul was communicating with a spirit through the K2 meter and asking it to respond to letters Paul gave from the alphabet, which it did, and he received what he believes was the spirit person's name. Bloody hell. That's not a bad first go out, is it? Thank you. Annie, do you, do you actually belong in this building? Can you light that up? If you actually have anything to do with this this building, either when it was a farmhouse or uh, a toll tower or a pub. Can you let me know if that, this, you know, you belong to any of those buildings? No? Annie, are you reasonably, relatively new to this? Did, did you come with the, the staircase that was at Wind Stanley Hall? Are you anything to do with Winstanley? Amazing, thank you so much. This is what we were told that you were something to do with Win Stanley Hall. Is it, I know absolutely no history about that place. I do not know anything. So I don't know whether we're gonna be talking well, let's find out, shall we? Just grab that a little bit better. <clears throat> is your name Annie Win Stanley? No. Is uh, we we all? Oh. I tell you what. Let's see if we can find out how old she is. Um, Annie, do you know how old you are or how old you were? Okay, thank you. Um, were you younger than ten? Can you light that up if you were younger than ten? Okay, thank you. Were you nine, Annie? Were you? Yes, thank you so much. You are doing so well. That is absolutely amazing. So you were nine. Were you anything to do with uh, a servant, perhaps? Did your parents, were they servants? Okay, that was a little one. Did your mummy used to be a maid at the uh, at Wynn Stanley Hall at all. Oh, brilliant. That's amazing. <sighs> this is really bloody good. Well, that sounded like it was in here. And it's got terribly cold now in here. Can you make another noise for me? See? That's back over there again. Ooh. Thank you if that was you. Ooh. And that's not paranormal, that is a fan. At least there's a fan in here. 
sometimes we do take um, fans on the investigations with us. You can join us on Ghost Dimension, Blind Cell, another Ghost Dimension. However, not that type of fan. That's the cold type. Okay. Let's get this periscope going. Let's see if we can start communicating with some of the ghosts and spirits in here. Can you walk towards me? Light this light up. This will detect your energy, your presence. If you can come towards me. Copy me. Can't do it. Whoa. Are you there? Oh, no way. No way. We had to pick that up. That was a whistle, a gentle whistle. Whoa. There was a whistle, but a voice, sort of, a voice before the whistle. I heard a voice, an audible voice. Thank you. Can you copy this whistle? <whistles> There's got to be something around there. Are you able to um, please come near me? Use my vibrational energy. I heard a voice then that like went hello. I heard that with my own ears. Was that you? I heard a voice that said hello. I asked the spirit to come near me and use my energy. Then, to my surprise, it responded so clear that I could hear its responses with my own ears. Use my vibrational energy. I heard a voice then that like went hello. I heard that with my own ears. Was that you? I heard a voice that said hello. Use my vibrational energy. I heard a voice that said hello. Whoever this spirit was, seems to be powerful enough to vocalise its own voice. But could it use its power to manifest even further? Ghost Dimension. I heard you. Speak back to me. Ooh. Oh my God. that as well. There was an, there's so many little things going on here. There's like little voices, whistles, I didn't make out what the last one was. I heard a, um, I heard a voice that definitely, 100%, I know it said hello. I heard it and I don't know where these voices are coming from. But what I do know is they're not coming from me. And this is solid, this is solid stuff. This is solid brick. Be nice to just get you know I'd love to see these covers just rise up now the camera would still be here but I'd probably be gone because I dropped the camera on the bed there but wouldn't that be impressive but you know it doesn't always happen when you want it to <clears throat> so I guess I've got to be thankful for what I've had which has been quite impressive nice on sweet there One last chance, if you can just do one more thing for me. Be really impressed and thankful. If you could just do one more thing. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. I have just seen something out the corner of my eye. I've just seen a shadow out the corner of my eye. I just saw a shadow on that wall then and it's not the LCD screen because it's facing me so it couldn't have been that 
Has somebody just uh, entered the room? Is there somebody else that's just arrived? Very, very weird. Just there, I thought I saw something. Could have been a trick of my eyes, I don't know. So I'm not going to jump up and down and say it was anything paranormal. But just remembering that this is a room, I think it's this one, that people have reported peripheral stuff. So maybe I've just experienced another one of the reports. Something out the corner of my eye. So I don't know. That's weird. That's the type of paranormal activity that I like. When you physically hear it and uh, it gives you a real response. I mean, you can't beat that. Thank you. Are you building up to this energy now? Okay, let's call out proper style. What? That's in that room. I think that's a pump. Well, I hope it is. I think that was a pump running. Really. I think that was just natural. Okay. I'm calling out for any spirits that are here. Anybody use my body as a vessel to communicate? It's, I call out to any spirits in command here. Please use my energy. Come and touch me. Feel me. Spirit. Do something! No, <laughs> it didn't work. Oh. Spirits, I, I command you, do something! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, what was that? And what the hell was that? Whoa! Jesus! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa where's my mic? Bang, oh, my mic walk talkie. Right, hold on a sec. Paul, whoa, that's me saying that off. Paul! Paul, 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 it got work this way. Paul, <coughs> Paul, Paul, it got work this way. Paul, what's up, mate? Is that Paul? Paul, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. What's the matter? What's the matter? The, some something is kicking off down here in the in the uh, in the cellar, and something smashed. I don't know what that was, but also at the same time, something grabbed me or did something to my back. I felt it. Something grabbed me. All right, mate, I'm on my way down. I see the set, Paul. That was weird, man. And my back is in sheer, sheer agony. I don't know what, anything. I don't want to get near anything. I don't want to touch anything. I need to just get out of this place now because that, what the hell? That, is that Paul? Yeah, something smashed, something happened, I don't know what it was, but it, something just kicked royal off, royally. So I, I heard this big noise, but something more, yeah Jane, something really physically grabbed into me, like clawed into me, I don't know what it was. Is it back? Have a look, because I don't know. Yeah, give us your jacket. Let me knock this off now, so I can see you. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get this top off now, but something clawed into me like proper, proper hardcore. Oh my god. I'll tell you, I've got to turn this off for a second so I can change it to, so don't you, you keep rolling. Right, okay. Yeah, so something was really into me, Paul. So you can hold up. Right about, so we're. Oh! Of Jesus Christ! Where's Where's my phone? Is it taking you, picture? Uh, yeah, hang on a second, yeah. You have got... Wow. What is it? <laughs> Put your, your camera on that. And I'll... Uh, oh, Jesus, yeah, you've... Uh, you've got... Hang on. What is it? What have I got? Scratches.
I now knew that this spirit was the same one that Paul had witnessed earlier asking him to go and the energy that had attached to me earlier in the bedroom. I believe I had just called Paul and Jane in time as this investigation was now borderlining dangerous. Ghost dimension. Something very territorial is haunting the Stork Inn and it was clear that our investigation into its presence was not welcomed. <laughs> 